At ETA, our motto is if you can dream it, we can design and build it. We have all the traditional manufacturing methods here in-house that you'd expect to see in any machine shop. One thing Advanced Tech did is they really took the time and the trouble to take us under their wing and show us the capabilities and limitations of additive manufacturing. In the machine building world, there is a general sense of people wanting to have lots of strength and toughness, use lots of metal, lots of steel, make everything big and heavy. That's really how you put quality into a piece of equipment. And so, of course, one of the concerns we had initially is how well will the printed plastic parts hold up over time? Uh, will they have enough strength? Will they have enough toughness? Can they stand someone whacking them with a hammer or stepping on them? And that sort of thing. And in fact, in many cases, parts will withstand that sort of thing. It's really become an essential tool for us just as much as traditional machining. Using them together, we can really leverage them to produce a, a very optimal product for a customer. It became quite obvious in a very short period of time that it would be efficient to have the equipment in-house so that we could make multiple iterations same day. You can essentially use a fail-fast approach. We can run parts overnight, come in the next morning in seven o'clock, we're testing that new part. In a number of cases, we've helped customers by helping them redesign their product. For example, we had a customer contact us about a year ago. They had an earplug counting system. We proposed making some basic changes to the overall layout of the machine. And by using additive manufacturing, which really made a lot of sense because there's a lot of free flow organic parts that were required to do this, we were able to go from approximately a 16 second cycle time to about a three second cycle time. And we're now in the process of building a complete second system for them. They've been so happy with the results. So there's a number of areas on the earplug machine that we were able to leverage the use of additive manufacturing. The overload bypass guides, which are, you'll see on the feeder bowl, the flow control valves, the sensor mounts, nozzle mounting assembly, the ducting for the air conveyor method, the actual counter assembly is a mixture of machined and printed components. The adapter on the very bottom of the counting assembly is a uh, bayonet mount. Another example where we've used additive manufacturing is the dropper assembly machine. This machine is used to assemble oral medication droppers and as you can see we've used FDM technology in a number of areas throughout this machine. Sensor mounts, tooling nests, feeding components, uh, change kit components and things like that. We really integrate process development into the entire development cycle. Rather than, say, just building a piece of equipment for someone, we work with that customer to really give them a solution that truly solves their problem. Partnering with Advanced Tech has allowed us to achieve that goal for our customers.